Hello, hello everyone. I welcome you once again to class today. We will continue with our discussion as far as public finance, public, public finance and taxation is concerned. Public finance and taxation. Today we are going to introduce the other segment of this subject which is taxation. All right? Taxation. And when we introduced the subject in our first lesson, we defined public finance as that process by which the government raises revenue, expends that revenue in the provision of social goods and services. And we made mention the fact that one of the main sources of uh, public revenue is taxation. The government raises its revenue. One of the ways is through imposition of tax. And uh, that is what we are going to introduce today. That is introduction, introduction, Introduction to taxation. Introduction to taxation. We are introducing the other segment, the other part of the, our teaching. That is introduction to taxation. So taxation, once more, is uh, simply the imposition of taxes. Or it is that part of public finance that deals with the means by which the government raises revenue from the public by imposing taxes. This revenue is used by the government to provide goods and services to the public or to its citizens and to carry out government functions. So taxation may be uh, refer to as the revenue raising activity of the government. Taxation is the revenue raising activity. Taxation is the revenue raising activity. Because just like uh, private entities, the government requires money so that it can meet it, uh, its objectives or its uh, functions can be uh, carried out. So uh, taxation is a revenue raising activity. And in this introduction to uh, taxation, we'll be looking at why government raises uh, raises uh, or levies taxes. We also discuss the principles of um, an optimal tax system. We will discuss the classification of taxes, the incidence of a tax, taxable capacity, budgetary objectives, and the role of taxation in achieving budgetary objectives. That is what we'll be covering in this first topic under taxation which is introduction to taxation. Introduction to taxation. So as an introductory part of the, this lesson, we are going to define certain terms, first of which is tax. Tax, what's the meaning of the term tax? Now tax is a compulsory contribution by persons to the state to enable it to meet its 
expenses for common cause. Tax is a compulsory uh, payment to the government. Is a compulsory, compulsory payment to the government. Compulsory means that uh, you are compelled. Failure to which penalties, uh, you may face penalties. If you don't pay tax, you are most likely to face penalties. That's why we are saying, um, saying that tax is a compulsory payment to the government or contribution by persons to the state or to the government to enable it to meet its expenses for a common good for a common good so and one of the features of a tax is that there is no direct reward for those who pay tax characteristic of tax one characteristic is that there is no direct reward when you work and at the end of the month you pay your tax to the government then you should not expect a direct reward don't expect the government to give you a direct reward because um, we say that tax is a payment to the government so that the government can meet its uh, objectives for the common good or the common cause. So money that is uh, remitted to the government is shared or used for the common good. There is no direct reward to a specific person or specific organization. So that is a very important characteristics, uh, characteristic of tax. Another characteristic of tax is that um, it is charged where there is an income. Tax is charged where there is charged where there is income. So the government can only expect you to pay tax or an organization to pay tax where there is income. You cannot pay tax when you have no income because uh, tax is like an appropriation item. If you are an individual and within a given month you have earned no money, then there is no expectation from the government for you to pay tax. If you are running an organization or a company and that organization at the end of the year has incurred losses, then you are not expected to pay tax as a result of the losses. So tax is charged only where there is income. That is a very important characteristic of, of, um, of tax. Okay? You can only pay tax where there is income. Then another characteristic is that penalties are imposed for non-payment. Penalties are imposed for non-payment. Penalties are imposed for non-payment. So if you are entitled to pay tax, if you have income and you are not paying tax, then the law uh, states that you ought to pay penalties. And we'll be looking in detail on uh, what manner of penalties that are imposed for those who fail to pay tax. And maybe at this point I need to mention that um, taxation in itself is a law. Taxation is a law because um, there can be no penalties without law because you only pay penalty after breaking a certain law and in these lessons we'll be studying mainly the law that was enacted in parliament 
which is an act of parliament, that is the income tax, income, income tax, chapter 470, okay, income tax, chapter 470. Thank <music> you.